Let's talk about social distancing and the effective reproduction number. Social distancing, such as staying at home, will reduce the rate of contacting other individuals. Say this is by proportion P. And so there's a proportion P reduction in interactions through social distancing. So a socially distanced person will no longer infect R0 or R0 people. Rather, they will infect on average R, which is R0 times 1 minus P. R0 is the old value, and 1 minus P is the proportion of social interactions that continue under social distancing. Our model now becomes n t plus 1 is r n t, where n 0 is equal to 1. Okay, so this is very much like the model that we had before, but now the r naught is replaced by r. And so if we write down the uh, solution, we have t is equal to 0, n 1 will be r times n naught, which is r times 1, which is r. t is equal to 1. n2 is r times n1, which is r times r, or r squared. t is equal to 2. n3 will be r times n2, which is r cubed. As we uh, continue here, we see that nt is equal to r to the teeth power. This is the solution to our original model, which is given right here. Okay, so what does that tell us? Well, it tells us that we can compute the number of infected people under social distancing if we know what the value of P is and the value of R0. So we need P and R0 to get R. And then once we have R, we can compute NT is equal to r to the teeth power. Okay, so let's just consider an example. Suppose we have the COVID model, so r0 is equal to 2, and suppose that our social distancing reduces our interactions by about 65%. So p is 0.65, and so then this would tell us that r is 2 times 1 minus 0.65, which is 2 times 0 0.35, which is 0.7. Okay, so what does our solution look like? And t is 0 0.7 to the t power. And if we start with and not is equal to 1 as we did before. Then we have n1 is 0 0.7 times 1 is 0 0.7. n2 is 0 0.7 times 0 0.7, which is 0 0.49. n3 is 0 0.7 times 0 0.49 
which turns out to be 0 0.343. Okay, you can see the direction that this is going. Indeed, if we take the limit as t goes to infinity of nt, this is the limit as t goes to infinity of 0 0.7 to the t power. And this is going to go to zero. Okay, so we can try to calculate what the effective reproduction number has been so far for COVID-19. We saw that if there was a lot of social distancing, the effective reproduction number would be small and the disease would die out very quickly. Our model with R0 is equal to two saw that the disease would grow very quickly. The reality is somewhere in between. In fact, at about time t is equal to 40 weeks, we have n40 is equal to approximately 6 million people. Now, if we would like to know the effective reproduction number, we can remember the formula for the number of infectives in terms of the effective reproduction number. This is the number of infectives is the effective reproduction number raised to the power t. So we have everything we need. We put in 6 times 10 to the 6 for nt. We don't know what r is, but then we put in 40 for t here. We want to solve this for r, and if we do this, we then know what the effective reproduction number is. And so we take each side to the power 1 over 40, And so we solve for r, 6 million to the 1 over 40 power. And if we put this on the calculator, we find out that this is 1.48. And so 1.48 is our effective reproduction number for COVID-19. It's not r naught, which is 2. It's smaller, so it's less than r naught which is equal to two, which means some social distancing has gone on. And so to figure out how much social distancing that has gone on, let's uh, remember the formula. R is one minus P times R naught. If we want to know P, then we can divide both sides by R naught. R over R naught is equal to one minus P. And then if we rearrange, we have P is equal to one minus R over R naught. Now with R naught is equal to two and R is equal to 1.48, we have one minus 1.48 over two, which is equal to 0 0.26. So there has been some social distancing, not enough to stop the disease, but enough to slow its spread. And worldwide, it's been equivalent to reducing the number of contacts by about 26%. It's a good start, but we need to do more.